Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhero.com. In this video, I'll be showing how you can, you can restore the backup of your .NET site that was done by using the DNN backup module. So, in previous videos, I have shown how you can do the backup. Now, as much important as it is doing the backup, it's also the ability to restore the backup. If a backup, if you cannot restore a backup, what's the point of doing the backup? Uh, now, we are using the DNN backup module to do the backup, and we're going to be using this package called restore pack to be able to restore uh, the backup. Now, there are two approaches to doing the, the backup restoring. One is, if you just, if you did not uh, if you did not lose the entire site, and if you just, let's say, uh, you, there's some, uh, missing files or anything like that, you may want to restore the site, the, the backup inside your current instance. So you could come to, uh, DNN Evolutiva Backup, uh, and you could go to Home. And under Home, there's a Restore Wizard. And we can, we could click on restore, launch restore to restore the site files on top of the, the, the live sites. But I don't want to do that because the site is working fine right now. I just don't want to, to mess it, to, to play with it right now. What I will do is I will restore the site files locally just to make sure that the, the backup files are working fine. That will, if I can, if I'm able to restore the sites, look, the site locally. I will be ensuring that the site is working fine. And to be able to restore it locally, I can use the restore pack. The good thing with the restore pack is that it is uh, just uh, an ASP.NET, uh, it's a .NET application. It does require the same level of access as a regular DNN uh, website, uh, but you don't need to have DNN pre-installed in the, in the site. I mean, you can, you can start from scratch. You can, you can copy the restore pack to your new site and then bring the backup under it. And the restore pack will unpack the backup and it will restore the site as, as it is. Now, how we can do that? There are a couple of steps. Again, to, to ensure that the, the backup is working fine. We have to create a local site and we have to have, in my case here, uh, I'll be restoring it local under my local host. I have to have an empty site and I have to have an empty database. So I'm going to set up both of them right now. So first of all, I'm going to open the root folder of my local um, IS uh, site. I'm just going to create a new, here's a folder. I'm going to create a new folder called 1-800-DNN. So it's an empty folder. I'm going to, now what I have to do is I have to bring the restore pack inside the new folder. So I have the, the uh, restore pack already downloaded. Here's the restore pack and here is the unzipped version of it. I'm just going to copy everything here and I'm going to paste that inside my new uh, folder under my WW root folder, which is called 1-800-DNN. So I'm going to paste there. I'm going to click on continue. So everything is pasted there. So this is the restore pack. That's the first thing that we have to do. We have to bring the restore pack inside our empty uh, application here. Now, the application is not completely set up yet. I have to set up the permission of that folder. I'm going to go to the properties. I'm going to the security. And I'm going to add the network service here. Net network service. I'm going to give full access to this guy. I'm going to apply this. So security is there. Now I have to open IIS to do uh, the application setup. So I'm just open IIS, administrative tools, here, IIS. So that's it here. Let's explore this. Here is my new folder. 
I'm going to right click here, add application. I'm going to call this 1 800 DNN. Actually, I'm not sure why it's already created as an application here. I'm just going to leave it as is then. Anyway, there, the, here's the application already created. Now, the next thing that we have to do is we have to create an empty uh, SQL database because once we do the restore, the database will be also, the database scripts will also run and all the table store procedures data will be uh, put in place into uh, an empty uh, database. So I'm going to SQL. Actually, I know what this is. I ha I'm using this for something else right now. So I'm going to go back to my folder. I'm just going to call this 1-800-DNN restore. And that's the folder that I'm going to be calling this now. And if I go back to my IIS and if I refresh this. Okay, perfect. So now I can see the folder. I'm going to right click on it, add application. Sorry, convert to application here. Convert to application. Okay, so, okay, perfect. So this was something else. Um, so I do have 1-800-DNN restore, which is the name of our local version. Now I have just opened uh, my local SQL Express. I'm going to create a new database called, and it will be an empty database, and it will be called 1-800 800 DNN restore. That's my new database. Not gonna set up uh, users permissions. I'm not gonna do all of that. I'm gonna just use the my standard SA user. Now we do have the site with the restore pack inside of it. And we do have the empty database. The, the next thing that we have to do is we have to download this site file uh, backup in the database script backup from aw uh, from uh, amazon s3 so here is my amazon s3 account here's the bucket here's the dn backup folder i'm going to download both files so i'm going to click on the file i'm going to go to action and then i'm going to click on open so with that it will save it locally i'm going to click on ok so here we have the database script. Let's do the same thing for the site files, which is a bit bigger. Let's click um, open and let's save this as well. It's downloading. Okay, so download is done. Okay, so here are both files. Now, what I will do is I will select both files. I'm going to copy from this location I'm going to cut from this location. I'm going to go to the site files under the backup folder. I'm going to paste those two zip files. So let me just right click, paste, continue. So we have both files, both zip files, both database and site files placed inside the backup folder of the empty and uh, what is supposed to be uh, in the very near future, the restored version of uh, the live site. This is the end of video one on how to restore your .NET Nook site backup.